Hello and welcome to Applied Imagery in the Quick Terrain Modeler Tutorials. In this video, we'll cover the Above Ground Level or AGL Analyst tool. The AGL Analyst tool assigns an AGL attribute to every point in a point cloud, making it easy to understand the relative heights of objects and to filter and color the points based on this AGL attribute. Let's take a look at some of the things you can accomplish using the AGL Analyst tool, followed by a quick demonstration of each. First, it quickly creates bare earth surface models with a click of a button once AGL values are calculated. A bare earth surface model, or DTM, is useful all by itself for many types of analyses. Next, during the quality assurance and quality control process, AGL Analyst makes it easy to identify and remove points or anomalies that are clearly noise both above and below the surface of the model, as you can see here. Another powerful feature is the ability to remove foliage. Even in rugged terrain, the AGL Analyst filtering tools make it fast and easy to remove vegetation canopy to reveal objects and sign of human activity underneath the canopy. Additionally, the AGL Analyst tool makes it easier to identify vertical obstructions, which can present hazards to aircraft on approach and departures. Objects can be easily identified and quantified, such as how high an object is off the ground and if it will affect an aircraft's flight path. We begin with an LAS model loaded. In this example, we are using the Iowa Rural Data tiles A2 and A3, which has some vertical relief and plenty of vegetation for our examples. It's available as a free download on our website. To open the AGL Analyst tool, we have several options. The first is on the Analysis menu. Second is to add the AGL button to either the default or tactical toolbar by selecting the Configure Toolbar button, finding and adding the AGL button. Lastly, for users who work predominantly with point clouds, you can load the point cloud power user profile, which includes the AGO Analyst button, among many other point cloud specific buttons. After opening the AGO Analyst tool, we first want to calculate AGL values prior to performing any other analyses. To do this, we choose an algorithm. There are several choices, but the newest and most accurate is LiDAR Sense. This is our new algorithm for bare earth calculations. Next, we set the grid sampling. Best practice is to keep this as close to what it reads out automatically or round to the nearest whole number. This is the resolution of the resulting bare earth model, and there's rarely any benefit to making it smaller than the default value. Unless you have good reason to, never include synthetic or withheld points. Lastly, select the Go button, and processing times will vary based on your computer performance. Once complete, the AGO Analyst window will switch to the Visualize tab with the Palette tool and the default blue to red palette will be assigned to the model. Let's take a quick look at the palette configuration tool. The window is divided into a palette button bar, predefined palettes, display range and scale settings, visual palette transition with right click options, a histogram of your model, filter slider, and at the bottom transform and export buttons. From here, now that every point has been assigned an AGL value, we can color and filter based on those values. Here I'm demonstrating how to strip back the vegetation simply by moving the slider and filter our AGL values from top down. If I want to create a custom palette, I start with a blank palette from the drop down menu. I add a break point, a sign of the value, in this example I'll set it to zero and adjust the slider afterwards, select the color, and then select OK. I can then grab the break point and slide it to achieve my desired results. The swap AGL into Z allows users to work entirely in AGL space rather than absolute space. It creates a normalized view of the model, whereas the model appears flattened, but the AGL features are now more pronounced. The undo swap will return the model to the absolute view. And finally, to create a bare earth model, simply select the Create Bare Earth Model button at the bottom of the AGL Analyst window. This will create a bare earth model and add it to the layer tree under the surface models. From there, users can export the model by right clicking on the name and selecting export to GeoTIFF DEM, name the file and select save. The file can then be opened in other programs. The AGO Analyst tool is now more powerful and intuitive than ever. With a variety of bare earth calculations, intuitive workflow for removing points based on AGL values such as vegetation or buildings, either temporarily or permanently, and more intuitive color and filtering palettes may make the AGL Analyst tool your new favorite tool in Quick Terrain Modeler. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us or see our website for more tutorials and sample data. Take care. 